time to unite our voices and take advantage of our economic power in order to achieve gender equality and fully participate in all decisions that impact women and society as a whole. We really take time out of our days to step away from all of the roles and all the things that we play to focus on ourselves and to, to expand our leadership capabilities. My task to you is really gonna make sure that you go out and you show other women. My guess is so many of you all huddle. You are part of this huddle, you huddle. This is not news. You have to teach others to do the same. How do we huddle? We have to believe in ourselves. We deserve a huddle. There are people out there who want to link arms with us. Find those people. There's something for the young professionals, kind of in their first professional jobs and looking for mentoring, looking for this. There's something for those more seasoned professionals like me who are looking for something just a little bit different. You know, how do we give back and how do we support uh, each other as we're maybe transitioning into different life phases? This is my first time of attending the ICANN experience and I think this is an amazing, with the first speech I got so inspired and I felt so refreshing. Uh, talking about finances and how we have to invest more, know more about finances, ask more questions is something that resonated with me. It's 2024. We're gonna find our way. We are gonna talk about money. We're gonna analyze our finance. We're gonna be educated. We cannot take the other. Well, that's, that's the guy's job. No, 90% of the United States household finance is in our hand. We have a responsibility to right size the budget. Tell your stories. You all have interesting stories. It's not boasting when it's based on fact. For the allies, lift up the stories of these remarkable women as well. So if the lion or the lioness, let's say, doesn't tell her story, the hunter will. You tell your own story. Be proud of that story. Women who want to increase their education into leadership skill development, women who want to be inspired in the workplace, and women who feel that they need to cultivate their career squad, their networking pool, uh, this is the place to do it. What I think we need to be having more of a conversation about is our AQ, our adaptability quotient. Darwin said it's not the strongest or the fittest that ultimately survive, it's those that are most capable of adapting. And so a great thing to challenge ourselves on today is if I was to give myself a score between one and 10 of how effectively I've role modeled change to the people that I work with and lead over the course of the last 12 months. What score would I give myself? Just being in a room full of powerful women is so inspiring and encouraging, so I'm glad I came today. My purpose, my why, is kids. That's why I went to school forever, that's why I'm here, that's why I wrote this book, that's why I you know, continue to take care of patients. But this is not solitary work. Every, everything that we want to change, it is near impossible to do alone. And I think that's one of the biggest lessons that I want to share is, is the power of a village. So good, loved it. The speakers were amazing. We just came from a, a networking like conversation on how to network better, so that was great because it's a great place to network. Studies show that one of the single biggest limiting factors for women in business is lack of a network. And it doesn't have to be that way. Imagine the systems that we have yet to experience because our female peers are not being hired, promoted, or supported, or funded. Imagine how many life-changing technologies are actually missing from society. Because the women were in the room, not only did we talk about technology, we talked about people and how the tech should serve them. ICANN's a huge part of just our day-to-day. -day. It's a wonderful organization, um, and I always feel so grateful to be here. So I was in the male ally session. I got to talk with leaders across the, the metro area and, and hear how they were applying the same stuff uh, to their organizations, and I can bring that back, right? Likewise for our attendees, they're bringing this stuff back 
and they're impacting their teams, they're leading their teams in a different way and in a, in a better way. Girl Scouts have better life outcomes than their non-Girl Scout peers. They attain higher levels of education, are more likely to volunteer and to contribute to the causes that they care about. In fact, 84% hold leadership roles. And if you want to expand your influence and your impact and make a broader difference, well, it's going to take a well-rounded, influential and supportive network. And when you support others in that way, especially other women, that right there is how we elevate our collective power. It's important for women to have events like this to open exposure for opportunities within our community, build each other up and find networking. I know I will continue to elevate and grow in my leadership and so happy to be here. How do we hold our own to ask for the raise or the promotion or draw a boundary? the things that actually make such a difference in our lives. And I've been preaching now for 30 years that when you master your communication, you master your life. Because when one woman confidently lets her voice rise, we all rise.